Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I would like to tell you about the online exam format of the BB entrance exam. This format is fairly new and was introduced only this year due to COVID-19. As you already know, because we published it on their website, the entrance exam on July 2021 will be held also in an online format, not to risk everyone's health. I know it might sound scary and new to you because we are all used to in-person exams and taking draft notes on the paper and all that and being supervised by the teachers walking around the room. This will be a little bit different, so to get you ready for that and stress a little bit less, I have collected a lot of useful information for you after talking to a first year BBE student who took both online and offline exams. This year I actually tutored some of the students for the BB entrance exam so I know exactly how it went. First of all, let me announce that on my working Instagram, me and the first year BB student, Zlata, will have a live stream where she will tell you and answer all your questions about the online format of the exam. Gladly, the structure stayed the same. There was English, economics and math. You had three hours to do it all. You could also start with any part you would like. So it is best if you leave yourself enough time for the part which is most difficult for you. For most students, it's the math part. For example, you can solve the English and economics part of the test in just 90 minutes and give yourself 90 instead of 60 minutes for the math part to be less stressed about it. The most annoying and unusual feature of the online exam is the built-in notepad and calculator. Because on the test day, you're not allowed to use anything apart from your non-touch screen, computer or laptop. So you're not allowed to write anything down on paper, look down to the side, use a pencil. They will supervise you. They will supervise you and make sure you don't look anywhere apart from straight at your screen. So please practice writing down formulas and computations on your screen with your mouse or your the little note touch notepad at the bottom of the keyboard to get used to it and not to waste too much time on it on the test day. Because some students found that quite annoying and uncomfortable. Wu Jason does tell you, it is a recommendation, don't use any paper or pencils and not care about it later, they will actually supervise you. They will do it in the following way. Weeks before the exam, you'll be asked to submit a picture of you next to your identification, which is pro most probably going to be your passport, so that they know it's you who will be taking the exam and not someone else because it's illegal. They will ask you to give permission for them to record your microphone, your computer camera and your screen. So they make sure, first of all, that it's you taking the exam, they have a reference already. And they make sure you don't look down or to the sides too often, which will look suspicious and will probably mean that someone is cheating. They also record your microphone so that you don't have a friend sitting on the floor with you and telling you the answers or you don't have a voice message of yourself playing on repeat with all the formulas and the theory. They're also quite smart people. Your skin will be also supervised and locked. So even if you really want to, you won't be able to open any tabs such as Google Translate, the economics book or Khan Academy during the exam. On the online exam, you won't have such an opportunity and you will have to sit in front of your computer for three hours straight. So please make sure you go to the bathroom two or three times before the test starts. You don't want that thing distracting you uh, from your test. You are allowed to have a snack, a glass of water, juice or some chips, but make sure your snack is in a clear bowl, plate or a glass so that they know there are no formulas written on the packaging of your liquid or your snack. They, all, they also accounted for that. And when you do so, when you eat or drink, please make sure they see what you're doing. So get your glass up, show it in front of the camera, and drink so that they're watching and they know you're not cheating because if you look down way like for example eating your chips you might be looking down just because the snack is there but you might also be looking down because there's like a whole formula sheet on your laps if you're easily distracted make sure everyone is quiet on the day and you're in a quiet place tell your friends family or your roommates to stay extremely quiet for three hours or go to a study place somewhere in the city because you don't want to be distracted by some noises your little brother makes or your mom cooking on a test day. Vo, of course, will let you know about all the steps you have to take in advance. So please make sure to check your email regularly. They are also very nice and will provide you with a mock exam before the actual exam. So it will be on the same online platform, using the same technology, the same built-in calculator and notepad. It will be exactly the same. The only difference is that it will have less questions than the real test 
and it's designed to get you acquainted with the technology used so you don't stress about the technical part of the exam on the actual test day because it can actually lower your score. Before you press the submit button, you'll be able to go through it again and again and solve it like multiple times, as many times as you want. That's all for me and see you on a live stream somewhere between the 14th and the 20th of December on my working Instagram. Stay tuned!